Hi, hi, it's your girl Larry Wells and welcome back to my channel. Before we get into this, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Today is day three of Vlogmas. I am recording, editing, and uploading all in the same day, all in real time. Like, slight applause for me. I'm like, I'm gonna do it for myself because I'm really, I'm really, <laughs> I'm amazed at myself, okay? So the question we're getting into today is how much do you usually work in a month? You seem to have great flexibility. Now the flexibility I have at my airline is very, very high up there on the list of why I will probably never leave. We are one of the few airlines, I've said this before in another video, where we have no maximums, no minimums. There are some other airlines that may not have minimums per se, um, but I think there is a cap for maximums, but we have no minimums no maximums and it's a great place to be child so let me tell you what that means i basically give myself a vacation every single month and i know that sounds crazy but hear me out okay as flight attendants full time for us is 72 hours a month between 72 and 78 depending on what airline you're at that's a month for most people working a nine to five 40 hours a week is your average that's 160 hours we're basically doing half that now if you want to work that many hours in a month you can work 160 hours there's people that work 200 hours like the high flyers that's a real thing so like let's say you really got something you want to buy or you really got some goals you're trying to pay off some credit card debt whatever it might be you can work 200 hours in a month that's the glory and the nice part about not having any maximums. But I've had months where I've worked as little as 30 hours. And that's why it's been hard to get a video out to you all about the pay like I did at my previous airline, because the pay you get really is dependent on you. Um, there's months that I have very few that I have worked 120 hours. That's probably on the highest range. For me, my average month is around 80 to 90 hours. That is kind of my sweet spot. I think the most I was ever scared scheduled by scheduling for was around 118 hours that was I think in July I literally swapped my entire schedule with someone to actually be on reserve and then I gave away most of that the way I'm able to basically give myself a vacation every month is because of how I block my schedule blocking means putting one reserve block right next to another so when i tell y'all i'm on day five or i'm on day six that's because i chose to put two of my reserve blocks together our regular trips are three days now as a commuter i don't like the whole back and forth three days on four days off i do not enjoy that to make the most out of my time at home although y'all don't see me at home too much but to make the most out of being at home and traveling on my own I choose to block so that means I'll be on for about six days and then I will be off for about eight but you can do this in other ways where you maybe block with someone to work the first half of the month and so you work the first two weeks maybe and then you're off the second two weeks you can block with someone that you're working the very first week and the very last week of the month and then you have two weeks in the middle off you can really do this any way you want you don't even have to block the entire month if you don't want to but I take advantage of blocking so that I can have basically a vacation time permitted to me without having to use PTO request time off or or having to have actual vacation days that month with that flexibility you're able to have kind of any lifestyle that you want that's why in my last video from vlogmas yesterday I was like y'all I promise your lives don't have to be this hectic y'all can actually be home every day if y'all want to or you know be home every few days I just choose to make my schedule to where I'm working 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 off for an extended period of time and then working, working, working. It is a caveat. Now, a lot of people don't like to work six days and it's understandable, it is a lot on you. By the time you get to day four, you're like, ugh. But, <laughs> at least for me, but it's a sacrifice that I'm willing to take in order to get the time off that I want. Everything is a little give and take, you know? Also, at my airline, we kind of have the advantage of being able to give away things with incentive. 
at a lot of airlines you are absolutely not allowed to do that here we are um, and so that is something nice that you can take advantage of we also have something called DRT and SDRT please do not ask me what they stand for because child I do not know let me see if I can figure it out and learn something new along with y'all daily release time is DRT and SDRT is secondary daily release time. So DRT is offered, like I got DRT on the last day of the month. DRT is when they release you from duty basically because it's overstaffed almost. And so you would get the day pulled, you can't pick up on that day, you're not paid for that day, but it's something you bid for. Before you even bid for it, you are acknowledging that you're okay getting that day pulled without pay. It's not like they can just do it to you. It's something that you voluntarily choose. So DRT is based off of seniority, and then SDRT is secondarily daily release time, and that means that if they're overstaffed almost for tomorrow, and they already awarded all the DRT, then they will send out a notification, say, hey, we're offering 10 slots of SDRT for tomorrow, and then it's first come, first serve. It has nothing to do with seniority, it's whoever can snag it up first. So whoever has notifications on their phone, <laughs> we'll get that first so we'll be in like little group messages and the group message will be like SDRT is being offered and you'll see it gone in like minutes typically you have to be quick with it but those are options too where they're offered often I bid for DRT on the last day of the month I was only liable for that one day and if I was used for that day I could be used for the next three days but that's a whole nother schedule thing that we can talk about in another video if you want those are kind of ways to have flexibility. You can block, you can bid for DRT, you can try to snag SDRT whenever it is available, and you can give away trips with a little incentive on them, and oftentimes that is enough to get it picked up in no time. I hope that explains how I am able to have so much flexibility. I truly love having as much flexibility as I have and it's probably why I'll never leave this industry because the idea of going into an office from Monday through Friday is bonkers to me. Like I <laughs> could never. I always say if I ever left this industry like it's gonna be full-time creator life which is just like entrepreneurship or like I'm gonna have to be fully remote in whatever I do if I ever like did a full pivot into like tech or something I don't know but y'all I love where I'm at I think I get a lot of questions like that about like do you actually like it I do actually like it but one of the things I love about it is the flexibility that we have if you have any more questions about this or how I maneuver my schedule more any more questions that you want me to get to during vlogmas make sure you leave it in the comment section below make sure you like comment and subscribe it means a lot and I really 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 am trying to get to 10k so help out your girl we are on the road to 10k see you tomorrow bye